there's an area that we passed through on the way in and I really want to have a close look at that now that we're on the way out of here. We probably should have done it when we were coming in, but you know, it was just too hot. Yeah. Check this out, it's a great day for pipe bowls. Just over there where the newspaper is. The newspaper, yeah. yeah. We find a lot of newspapers at the dumps. Mm -hmm. No, we don't. We don't actually. Ah, oh, yeah, that's huge. That's quite big. That's a really thick, hefty looking pipe bowl, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, 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 it is. And it's got a kind of a different shape from what we usually find. Uh, that's cool. Oh, that's the top it. of a bottle. No, I can't. Well, I could, but okay. I'd rather you did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> make I'll, it, make I'll life put a it easier. Just pop here. It in there. Yeah, next to this. Oh, this lovely piece of. Sorry, just getting totally distracted because there's actually something. That's a good colour, isn't it? Pink, can, yeah. Okay, I forgive that entirely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a bit of sponge wear here. Yeah, the plate there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really okay. interestingly glazed. Yeah, yeah. So. Can we oh. see? Oh. Is there anything on there? Okay, let me rub this. I've uh, got just a... Oh, it's the Florentine one again, isn't it? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Very okay. pretty. Very yeah. big. Yeah, it is very so big. So that one, the Florentine... Well, I guess the Florentine design was made by a whole bunch of people as well. Mm -hmm. um, but we reckon we know... I uh, have a very rough idea where that one came from because of uh, the other kinds of bowls that are very common yeah. in this area. Yeah, do you know what? I just spotted this. Well, I don't know if you can see it. It's just in the br in the uh, nettles there. Can you see it? Oh, it's, yeah. It's a broken inkwell. A nice wee inkwell. Yeah, yeah. Now you say broken. Well, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. The neck's off entirely. Ah. Shall we be fussy pants and leave that? Mm -hmm. I don't that's know. that's a no. That noise <laughs> means no. If you hear Nicole go, uh, it means no. Now, what it does mean though is we're going to have to reach through these ferocious nettles. Oh. Uh, I'm going to reach in behind them and hope I don't get stung here as well. There we go. Alright, okay. Oh, it does look quite nice, doesn't it? But yeah, it's 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 really it's a little broken. I think maybe we'll, we will leave that one here. Uh, we have a similar shape in the house already, so we'll take the pipe bowl and that lovely piece of sponge we are. Yeah, that's very cool. I think you're going to have to... Uh, do a wee bit of softening on the edges of that one and see if we can maybe get a wee bit of jewellery out of that because oh. that's a beautiful colour. Yeah, maybe that could be our uh, Sunday crafting the Scottish mudlarking video. How to make, well, how to make jewellery out of uh, sharp, sharp pottery. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, well let's have that lot then. Cool. We'll add that to our little pile uh -huh. and we shall get on. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Now I don't know how you managed to get uh, the marble out of that bottle. We're just having knocked that off the top. But I guess that's big enough for the marble to get through. Nice be cod bottle there. Marked least. Okay. I'm going to take you with me and we're going to have a look in this spoil heap. I can see a bone, I can see a bit of a pipe stem. Can you see it too? Just here. Okay, we pick that up, put it next to my treasure bag. Got my wee rake. Okay, let's see. Something that is broken that would have been really interesting. Oh, 10 pounds. Ten pounds something. Hmm, that's nice. Well, it would have been nice once it went, when it was whole. What else is here? Very large bottle. Very large, very plain. Don't think we've got one like this, but we just don't have the space to take all these large bottles. So we take smaller things. There was a beautiful piece of pink glass. Uh, that I saw first, but then I see there's another big bit of pipe stem there. As you know, if you've seen Nicole's, uh, the, in fact the first video I think we put out on our uh, Crafting with Scottish Mudlarkin channel, you'll have seen Nicole make these into beads. If you haven't seen that and you fancy, <laughs> fancy turning something like that into a bead, go check that out. I'll be taking this and this. 
couple of things here. Now this looks to me, does it look like a bit of a doll's teacup to you or could it be a very small china teacup? Hmm. Might just take it. It's a little bit too broken actually. I think I'm going to leave this one here. But I did see a couple of other things. Um, let's see. Okay, what can we see here? We can see a podlet. That's nice. There's no writing on it. Bit broken there, but I think I'm going to take it because the lids are really difficult to match up. Finding this small utility bottle. Might leave this one here. It's a little bit sharp on the top. And there's this lovely little round bottle here. That's really nice. Uh, I think I'm going to take this, these two things here and have a very quick scan. There's something here, it looks metal-y actually. Ah, do you know what that is? I think it looks a bit like a top of a bell, maybe from a bike. Hmm, kind of tempted to take that because, uh, you know, steampunk things and that. Hmm, what's this? There's something on it. I'm always intrigued when you see a bit of a pattern. Oh, that's so cute. Now, I have to take this one. Can you see it? It's uh, probably, well, I can, I can just see there's a wee girl there holding something. I'm not sure. Is there something to her left? Is there something? Is there a water fountain? Right, I'm taking this. It's nice. Oh. oh, look, there's a cup hiding down here. It's half a cup, but, oh, it's a cup with a very romantic pattern. It's a couple sitting there, um, and he's playing guitar. Okay, well, it's maybe a little bit too broken. Might leave that here. But we've got it on camera, so it's almost like we took it home. There's a little trinket jar. You know, I can't really resist trinket jars. I've just spotted something. That's really cute. Now, I'll pan over there. Well, lots of things there. There's a bit of newspaper and all that. But I think that's an animal shape. Like a rabbit. Now, what is that? Is it a rabbit? Ah. Oh. or could be a dog. Ah, now I'm tempted to take it because I really like little animal shapes but I'm really not sure because it's missing. It's missing the face. Where's the face? Maybe it's somewhere around here. Okay. Little bottles. A nest of little bottles. Hmm. Take or leave? I think take. Well, we just turned the corner. <laughs> I turned the corner. Well, we just passed underneath some trees. Mm -hmm. Or turned the corner, whichever way you want to look at it. And we came across this, this spoil heap. Now, there's one thing in here that I'm definitely going to take. And there's something else at the far end that I'm going to try and get a closer look at. But... I hope you can see it there, there's a little brown stoneware bottle. Actually, before I picked that up, I just looked down and I saw something that I think Nicole should be quite happy about. What? You see that? What? No, no, I can just see bricks. I'll, I'll pick this up, I'm going to pass oh. this to Nicole. Oops, hang on. Right, now I'll, I'll ask Nicole to put that on her palm. Oh, a chandelier! Um, a bit of a chandelier, Crystal. Do you think that's what that is? Yeah, 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 because it's got a hole here. Very cool. Well, I hope this little brown stoneware bottle is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> because I just managed to brush through more or less all the nettles 
I think uh, in this place today um, it's quite cute sadly it has a break there but what we can see is it actually has a mark it has a little maker's stamp down there now I'm precariously balanced in between nettles as I film this so <laughs> if you hear a yelp that's why okay that's still in focus that's quite cool all right uh, it's a little broken though. it's got a wee chip on the top there but you know from this side it's lovely <laughs> yeah yeah okay <laughs> well I don't know we can leave it it's up to you <laughs> I'll pass that over to Nicole what we're trying to do at the moment is oh sorry I just punched the lens uh, <laughs> What we're trying to do at the moment is get through here uh, that lovely spoil heap uh, without being distracted because there's an area that we pass through on the way in mm. and I really want to have a close look at that now. So this is the area that I wanted to come and have a look in. It doesn't look like much here but that's because I'm not pointing the camera down. You can probably just see <laughs> there that there's a massive pile of stuff that's been left behind. Yeah. But there's lots and lots and lots of little bits involved here. The other thing that you might uh, be able to see as well, uh, we're entirely surrounded by nettles and uh, and jaggy things. Yeah. So however we get out of here, it's going to be through this lot somehow. So let's hope we find something to make it worth our while. Okay, where do you want to start? I saw something really cool down there and I really want to pick that up. It's going to fall on Nicole's finger. Yeah, okay. You see it there. It's a lovely piece of pottery and it's got a bird on it. I'm going to uh, have to do that so they know okay. I need it as yeah, well. Yeah. There we go, yeah. I found one like that on the beach years and years ago and made that into a wonderful necklace. <laughs> That's really cute. Yeah, that is really nice. So I'll turn it just slightly so you got it in full. That's really nice. I am taking that and I uh, wonder if I can cut that out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It looks like a thick bottom. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be a wee bit of a challenge. The yeah. other thing, I mean, what, what, how old mm -hmm. do you think that is? Well, I mean, the one that we found in Kokodi, that dates from the 1880s, 1920s, so I think that's uh, smack bang where this is from, and it might have been made in Kokodi, who knows? Do you know what's really interesting as mm. well, is that that same kind of aesthetic mm -hmm. made a real comeback in the 70s. Oh. Oh, we just had lots of stuff that had sort of like a crude looking... Animals, animals and, and stuff on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very cool. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah. Now I'm going to swing around mm -hmm. to something. I don't know what it is. Oh. Um, there's actually one thing in here that I really, really like, and there's another thing in here. Uh, I don't know what it is. Oh. And then there's a third thing in here. <laughs> uh -huh. We're doing my numbers again. Ah, okay. Third thing in here um, that is. It looks like it's from like a Victorian bathroom or so. It's this. Oh, ah, it's. Is it a tile? It's a corner tile, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's a piece of corner tile. Yeah, but that lovely green, that lovely old-fashioned tile. It's very green. cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, when I was a kid, public lavatories in Edinburgh, <laughs> that's that's the colour inside. That's oh. that's the colour that they were. Oh, right. What do you reckon of that? Oh. I don't think it's glass now that I see it again. Oh, well, I'm going to turn around because I've just noticed something. Oh. I think it is. Oh. It's a Christmas tree topper. Oh, Do you think oh, it is? Oh, it's glass. It is glass. Oh, it could I think be it's a glass. glass. Yeah, or it could have been a vase. But yeah, there was something stuck in there to attach it to so something. Might be Christmas tree topper. That's really nice. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a really nice, we think. Mm -hmm. I think we should take that. Definitely take that. Yeah, and this is. That's the piece that I was just about to turn my <laughs> attention to. It's uh, yeah. it's either a doorbell or a light switch or something like ah. that. So this is a ceramic surround. All right, yeah. It's little gold paint on it there. Mm -hmm. Little bits left of mm -hmm. residue of gold paint. That's really yeah. cool. Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah. I mean, you're obviously not going to make jewelry out of it, but you know, no, once I uh, entirely. <laughs> turn our house into a steampunk haven <laughs> things like that are going to be invaluable all right <laughs> gonna take that <laughs> two lovely wee bottles there they are really nice aren't yeah, they yeah 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 somebody just put them there so we could find them and take them home i guess yeah somebody wants them to have a good home yeah. we might be the people to give them that what do you reckon yeah i think so let's see are they good yeah Nothing on it. I don't think they're even sick. That's cool. No. Yep. Excellent. I'm taking these. Yeah, yeah. Another piece of sponge were there for you. Yeah, that's nice. It does have a very large crack, so right through the butterfly. That's a shame. Mm, I think I'm still going to take it because I like the butterfly really? pattern. Yeah. That's desperate. <laughs> okay. So, is there anything else here that you want to have a look at? 
No, I think we've taken everything that we wanted, but there is something to my right that I was interested in. We bit of ghost label there before oh, we go. Oh yeah. No, Nicole likes a bit of ghost label. <laughs> N-D-O-P it says. <laughs> N-D-O-P. What could it be? What yeah. could it mean? So there's a couple of things over here that I want to look at. Um, there's a metallic object Nicole spotted and there's something else, but this is weird. Is Do you know, I think it was maybe, this was maybe a label, oh. an area for a label. This is oh. a very fancy bottle. Mm, it certainly is. Isn't it? Ah, yeah. Oops. Okay. A bit of a cream pot. A bit of a cream jar there. Ah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, so Nicole found a wee oh, wow. wheel from a wee toy. Yeah. We'd maybe been a wee, a wee mm -hmm. race car. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> or maybe a wee yeah. tractor or something yeah. like that. And like a little metallic button, so I think I'll take those metallic things. Very cute. So, before... We picked these things up. I'm sure you can see this, this glass rod here. Mm -hmm. Now, what is that though, that's uh, just alongside it? Oh, look, it's a pipe stem. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere, these are everywhere. Yeah. This one's quite thin, quite fine. Uh -huh. um, but this it. is interesting. I think this is definitely from uh, some kind of pharmacist, so right. uh, maybe a chemical works or so. Oh, it's maybe a modern straw. No, I don't no, think so. No, <laughs> I don't think it is. Okay, let's have this look. Yeah. Now, there's a couple other things that we want to look at here as well. Okay. There's this thing, and again, it looks to me like it probably came from a lab. Uh, although I can't say what it, what it could be. Oh. You see this? It looks oh, like right. a test tube, but it's not a test yeah. tube. It has this this ball yeah. on the end. It could have been a vase. There were uh, like really, really thin Victorian vases. Like a wee rose vase? Mm, maybe, yeah. But it's, uh, it's a very kind of interesting shape though. I like it, but sadly it's broken. Yeah. Now there's a whole load of stuff in here. A whole load of rubble in here and bits and bobs. But there's one thing that's just... I, I've, I've never seen anything quite like this before in a dump. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is either. Oh. It's this big glass globe. Oh. Now, the interesting thing about this big glass globe is that it has stuff inside it. I'll tell you as well, it is, it is very, very heavy. Wow. This weighs uh, a huge amount. Oh. Now, can you see in there? Yeah, it's like a Could glass Could you hold that tube. steady, yeah. please? Mm -hmm. Just so that I can... Uh, right, so now I can focus the camera. There we go. Right. So you can see inside that... Uh-huh. There's another sort of like kind of glass thing. Now, I'm not sure exactly what that was, whether it was for a lamp. I don't think it's a lamp. It's The glass is really, really heavy. Oh, you lift yeah. it up, it weighs a ton, doesn't it? Oh, it really is very heavy. That's so strange. Hmm. So I think that might have been, again, maybe lab glass of some kind, perhaps. Wow. I know it's not gloy glue. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's for sure. No. And thanks so much for everybody who chipped in there and told us that that was a glue pot. Yeah. It's lovely. I really, uh -huh. really do love it when everybody sort of chips in. Yeah. Um, and lets us know if, we, if we're uh, not sure what something is. Mm. So, yeah. over to you folk. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, what is that? What is it? <laughs> what is it? It really is very heavy. I mean, it does kind of look like it might be a lamp, but it's just so heavy. It also looks like mm. it might be some kind of an insulator as well. Mm. I don't know. Hmm. Are we going to take it? No, no, oh. it's very, very chipped here, I okay, think. Okey <laughs> That makes me sad. Oh, okay. But that's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll be sad for today and then I'll forget about it by tomorrow. This one was a wee bit of a puzzle. But after a little bit of inventive researching, we found some images of an old seltzer or soda siphon that originated from France. We think that this globe is the top half of one of these late Victorian, early Edwardian, so do siphons. Check this out, it's a really cool find. So yeah, we literally were just heading to the car there. Yeah. I don't think it's necessarily the best thing that we found today. Maybe if you can lift yeah. it and pop it down there so we can take a closer look at that. It is a very, very, very cool thing. Yeah. So back in the day, um, my gran used to write on one of these, you know. Uh -huh. My gran used to talk about having a, a writing slate, and that's what that's what Nicole just found. Oh, yeah. And she just uh, 
said, oh, you've got to come and check this out. <laughs> I've just found this writing slate. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't have seen it. We were just packing up. Yeah, and I thought it was just a roof tile. And then I turned around and I saw the lines and I knew it was a writing slate. So that's so cool. Yeah, the giveaway on this is that these lines <laughs> are perfectly straight. Yeah. Horizontal lines. Mm -hmm. There's some scrapes on it and scratches yeah, yeah. on it as well. Yeah. But you'll have seen a wee while ago, Nicole found a stylus as yeah. well. So. Um, and that's it's that kind of a what was that made of? Do you know? Um, Carbon graphite, or some graphite? Probably, yeah. But think? we can we can try it out and see if it works. But I guess you would have used chalk on those. Or? No, no. I think it was like, it was a kind of stylus, and oh. you could rub it off. It might have been I don't know. Mm. I'd have to ask oh. my grand, but sadly, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that. No. Okay, dogs. <laughs> All right. Do you want to take that? Yeah, I'm taking that. One That's of a kind cool. find, isn't it? Yeah, that is cool. We hope you enjoyed this wee shorter instalment of Scottish Mudlarkin on Sunday. Please do check out Crafting with Scottish Mudlarkin if you want to see Nicole shape and make those lovely pieces of pottery into some jewellery. Just remains for me to say thank you so much for watching, liking and commenting. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do take a second to subscribe to the channel. Also, huge, huge thanks to everyone who's helped support this channel through Etsy and through Kofi. That makes a world of difference to us. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.